Have you been a car nut since you were a little boy? Have you, has it always been motor cars for you? Yes, it has. I don't know anything about them, though. I don't know how they work. I really don't. You know, but I, I know about the aesthetics of them. I know about the history of them. But I don't really know about the mechanics of them at all. Uh, so when you're going to risk four million quid on a car, do, do you get advised? Do you get somebody to tell you, don't buy that one, it's not quite right. Buy that one, it's absolutely kosher? No. You go by your heart rather than your head. Yeah, I mean, I've done that a lot, and I've made a lot of big mistakes in my life, but uh, uh, some of them have come off. And if you take a chance, you know, they say there's a few things you can do on impulse and a few things you can't do on impulse. But, you know, this was definitely an impulse buy. But I'm really glad I bought it, and it's absolutely beautiful. And I don't think I'll ever, have to, I'll, I'll ever sell it unless I have to, because it's gorgeous. And it dri the great thing about it is, and I wish you could all drive it, I really do. <laughs> Yes, uh, please. Uh, well, <laughs> I We've got I, plenty of people to... Uh, I, do, I do let as many people <laughs> in it, and to, to, I take people for rides in it, and I let kids sit in it. All the kids here can have the photograph taken in it because it's a robust old thing, but it drives like a dream. It's so quick. You know, it does 150 miles an hour without even thinking about it.